What is up, everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic Memorial Day. Uh, greetings from South Carolina. We are actually recording this on Thursday afternoon uh, as everybody else is outside packing up the cars to get out. Um, but I, I wanted to give you guys this week four really practical tips uh, of how you can grow in your faith this week uh, by doing some tangible things. So we've been taking part in a prayer series and we've been giving you different ways uh, that you can grow in prayer each week. Uh, but this week, we want to just give you four really practical things, uh, one per day that you can take part in uh, that might not feel like spiritual practices per se, uh, but they are going to give you opportunities um, to grow. Uh, so today, the first one is walk. Uh, now, scripture talks all the time about people walking with God, like Enoch walked with God. Jesus would often walk down the road and his disciples would follow along with him. Um, but where this is going today is I want to encourage you to get outside uh, and exercise. You could take a walk. You could go on a jog, you could go on a run. You could do something more intense than that. But get outside and enjoy creation for a little while. Um, and as you are out there, as you are breathing maybe a little bit more heavily than normal, take note of the way that your body feels. Take note of the world around you. Take note of the ways that God is blessing you in that moment. Uh, so Psalm 22 verse 3, actually in the old King James Version, says that the Lord inhabits the praises of his people, which reminds me that wherever you are, whether wherever your voice is declaring who God is, is where God is also with you. Uh, so today, as you get outside, as you take a walk, as you uh, take part in what my friend would call the Monday Mile, uh, be aware of who God is. Be aware of what he has given you uh, and spend some time praying. Spend some time talking to him, uh, maybe in between some heavy breaths as you are exercising today. Uh, but today we are grateful for our bodies. We are grateful for the ways that we get to move and grow through that. Um, so I hope that this blesses you and uh, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for our second of four practical discipleship tips for this week. Hey, I love you guys and I hope you have a fantastic day. Grace and peace.